Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to another episode. I hope life is going well for you. In this episode, we feature Overland Expo West in Flagstaff, Arizona. In case you didn't know, this is one of the largest overlanding expos in the entire world. A couple days before the expo, Honda unveiled the Rugged Roads Honda Trail Sport project vehicle. Check out my previous video. I actually got to play a part in building this thing. My goal with this build was to keep it simple, effective, and attainable by most people. With class-leading, true torque vectoring all-wheel drive, the Honda Passport makes a great daily driver, it's comfortable on road, it performs well on road, and it also makes one heck of an overlanding machine. I have to say that I was not expecting to get this much attention. Car and Driver featured me on one of their articles and mentioned my YouTube channel. I wanted to send out a big thank you to Honda for including me in the press release and getting me all this attention. This is just incredible. I don't know what to say. So anyways, this episode will be different than my previous videos. Uh, this is just going to be a hodgepodge of a bunch of overland expo video footage so sit back relax and enjoy the expo all right here we are uh, up the cinder hills uh, i found an interesting looking trail so i just took it Looks like we're gonna be coming across a cool spot up here. This it. Woo! Ooh, nice and flat. So we are up high, away from the RVs. And yeah, this looks like a kick-ass spot. Rob, what do you think about this spot? Man, this is sweet. You got a nice view you can look out over the, the town. I think we're far enough away from uh, those transients that we saw walking around. <laughs> right? They all, they all we're, see. We're up and away from everybody else down yeah. low. Exactly. Those transients won't want to climb up here. Yeah. It'd be too too tiring. Right? So this is Alan with Borderline Explorer. He helped me film the uh, Honda video. And this is Rob Harris. Um, Company as a bodyguard, uh, <laughs> weapons, <laughs> tactical weapons expert, which is oh, really, which is true, <laughs> which is true. Well, good. Ground well, fighting good. extraordinary. Got my war paint in the truck. Yeah, I'm yeah, ready, yeah. man. Yes. Yeah, so, right. so yeah, don't, don't, don't fuck with us. All right. <laughs> That's the message we're sending. Yeah. So I really want to show you all this tote have it ready to go and this is what it carries mr buddy heater five pound propane canister i also have my coleman triton stove and so what i do is i just leave the propane canister right there you'll see that um it is enclosed or it's in, a, in this pocket that i made so it just stays there and then i have a, I have a a split for the propane so I could power my Mr. Buddy heater as well as my stove at the same time. It is enclosed or it's in, a, in this pocket that I made so it just stays there and then I have a, a split for the propane so I could power my Mr. Buddy heater as well as my stove at the same time. How's it, Rob? Good. Mucho good old. Mucho good old. Okay, we're good so far. Oh, oh, can't have that. Uh oh, the, all those vehicles. Can't have that. Okay. Oh, no. So 30, 37. So this is Fulmora 10. I got to do an edit on a, a video that will be looping at the Honda booth for Overland Expo. <laughs> that's that's weird this guy looks cool I heard he has a really good um, class on survival so you should definitely check him out you could probably skip me 
and uh, she looks real cool. She actually competes in the Rebel Rally. this tall person doing here? Yeah, so What's up, buddy? Hey, man. How are you? Good. Good. So where do they have you? Uh, Falcon, Falcon Bird. Where's that? Like all the way that way? All where you're at? All the way that way. Nice. Yeah. Oh my god, it's soft right in the west. Is it? Where? <laughs> I've always wanted to meet that guy. <laughs> Tasha? Natasha? Hi. She's actually a not only a Rebel Rally competitor, oh, but she's also a Honda engineer. And this is Jake. Good to meet Jake. you, Don. I'm with Honda PR. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, happy to have you here. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> and here we have a exquisite find. It's a Donald that's soft roading the west. He's getting away. Ha-ha! I caught you, Donald! You can escape Johnny Raw! Coffee. Hey, can you see that one more time? Oh, this is YouTube life. Like, got up nice and early this morning. Um, didn't make coffee or breakfast or anything because I wanted to make sure I could get down into Flagstaff in enough time. And I did. It was like, it was 6.30 maybe as I was rolling down to that street that came off of the um, freeway. And so I just pulled into the first Starbucks that... Uh, that I saw, so I could get something to eat and get some coffee. Yeah, we already went through this. Yeah, I don't have anything. Let's go. Dixie, let's go. Come on. Go ahead, Dixie. All right. Dixie needs a leash. <laughs> <laughs> Are not a cute dog. Hey, that's me, Nori. That's you. <laughs> I said that's mean. <laughs> you might be a good dog, but you're definitely not a cute one. <laughs> there it is. Humble, my humble, very humble abode. It's a good thing I'm not one inch taller because it would not work. <laughs> you can sleep in there. I sleep in there. Yep. So I was able to get my friend Donald at Software in the West, Nori and Alan at Borderline Explorer, and AJ at Dirt Complex, a media invite from Honda, uh, because they were here to support the recording and filming of this event. And so check out their YouTube channels. There will be links in the video description below. Just some information for people uh, that might want to go next year in 2022 and beyond. So if you choose to get a camping pass, then you would camp in this open woodlands area like this. Um, no running water, no restrooms. This is going to be primitive type of camping, dispersed camping. And they do have porta potties, but they're all the way at the roads. So this is something to keep in mind. We all had media passes, which would allow us to camp out in the exhibitor campground, which would be less crowded with more amenities like showers. But we decided to camp out in the public area. When I say public, it's only for other Overland Expo attendees that choose to get the pass. We just wanted to be able to camp out with some of our other friends. Very cool. Well, this is this is how it is. Yeah, I thought they were gonna bring a limo for you. Hey, hey, welcome hey. to the first camp Overland Expo West. <laughs> There's more people here now. Yeah, the power sports and power equipment PR folks that arrived. Got we it. Got Tom, you know, he's the survivalist guy. He's gonna give this seminar. Oh. Um, and so yeah, number one, shelter. Number two, water. 
Uh, we're going to stick fire as number three. It kind of goes hand in hand with purifying water. And then the last one is going to be food, of course. How long do you think you go without eating food? Seven days, nine days. Anybody else? Okay, you probably go about three weeks to a month without eating any food. I've done 10 days with nothing. I've done 21 days with very, very little. Um, and I definitely wasn't going to be out running down any deer or hunting or anything like that, but I was alive enough to walk into somewhere and get some food. And basically I'm making a waterproof sleeping bag. That's all this shelter is, but that's exactly what you want, warm and dry. So it's popped up like that. Next thing I wanna do is make this cocoon by um, planting and putting a bunch of and try to go as fast as you can with as much pressure as you can. One more, big one. There you go. Woo. Oh. There you go, you got a fire. Nice job, man. Every, give him a round of applause. Um, so cool, we got a fire. Everything else is kind of easy, purifying water after this. So we have just ensured that we're going to live for about 30 days until we start to die. Uh, or get that. So uh, I'm also a part of the Rebel Rally race team sponsored by Honda. Um, so in 2019, I participated with my co-driver and we took home rookies of the year and um, podiumed and got third place. So um, <laughs> uh, for those who have never actually like looked at a map or anything, don't worry, I'm gonna go over all of that. Um, if you're sitting down at a table, feel free He is going to discuss how to start overlanding. We uh, hope you stay to the end because we want you to ask as many questions as possible because, you know, there's there's no silly questions, honestly. This is something that you're interested in, obviously, because you're here. John's interested in, and he's going to tell us, like, how he got started, what was his inspiration for it, and um, it's going to be fun. John, okay, it's on you, man. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Well, you know what? I'm going to start off with a question. Does anyone have the definition for overlanding? Oh. Ian. Oh, so you need a, a lifted truck. Uh, sorry, you need a lifted truck, a rooftop tent, and an Instagram account. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. And you know what? Many people have different definitions of overlanding. If you go on the internet and type in, what is the yeah. definition of overlanding? you probably won't come up with anything. I think the closest or the most uh, regarded definition is gonna be from the Overland Journal. And their definition is overlanding is outdoor adventure travels to a remote destination. In front of this camera, it appears that the presentation went okay, but while I was up here, I was so nervous. I figured that, I just figured out that being a YouTuber or making YouTube videos doesn't exactly translate to public speaking. And so I was actually struggling here. Uh, thank you to my friend Ian. Uh, he was a big part in helping this presentation flow. Chord progressions before I change. Okay, everyone. Just stop in the middle. AJ is uh, going through chord progressions before he changes. <laughs> So not only does he make rear hitch tire carriers, he is a master at the guitar. Far from a master of guitar. I hope you heard the song <laughs> of your life. Rob, do you hope that he has a time? Ah, uh, my dirty, dirty, dirty calm, dirty dirt calm. Telling me your trail swings, swabbles in the dirt roads on the trails. <laughs> California love. <laughs> hey there, little trail swing. What's it like in that circus city? I got clowns all over the place. They're pushing you so hard. Yes, they are. <laughs> Wobbling in the wind, yes you are, yes you are.
You play those scissors so good. <laughs>Okay, okay, so yeah, you can see my, my vehicle going over some rough terrain. That was a Diablo drop off. I, I drove up it, found out later that uh, I wasn't supposed to. It's one way. There's no signage, so sorry. <laughs> this is right here. This is the Coyote Flats Trail in California. It peaks at 10,000 feet. By the way, this is my friend, uh, my childhood friend that I recently got reunited with. Uh, I've known him since nine, and the last time I saw him was when I was 12. Uh, I'm getting the mic room because this is Donald that's operating the West. He's a pretty popular YouTuber. John, when you, I see when you go out camping, you're not camping in the campgrounds. You are camping just like out in the wilderness someplace. How do you know if it's okay to camp someplace? Because you know there's all of some there's all this wilderness out there. How do you know where it's okay to camp or where it's not okay to camp? You could use apps like Gaia GPS. Um, or that, that app free room that I mentioned that shows you where you have cell service, uh, you use those apps to tell you if you're in, in forest land or BLM, which stands for Bureau of Land Management land, and you are allowed to disperse camp out there. Unless there's a sign that says no camping. With your, with your Honda, when you go to certain trails, what type of uh, electronic things do you have to enable, disable, or whatever in order to go through it smoothly? Let's say, yeah. for example, going uphill and it's kind of like rough, what do you do? It, that's an awesome question. Uh, so Honda has a terrain management system. There is normal mode, snow mode, mud, and sand. Okay, so in your situation going up a steep climb like that, um, you know what, I find that uh, the ZF9 transmission in the Honda is really good about selecting gears. I rarely ever have to uh, switch over to first gear. It just knows what gear to use. And then, as far as the terrain terrain modes, um, well, I find sand mode to be the most capable. Last last line of defense. Uh, How's it going? No introduction needed. This is cool. You should, you should have saw earlier. I was totally fan girling. <laughs> he was fan boy. He was like, my <laughs> girlfriend. 
get like two of you, like Shaquille O'Neal and like LeBron James over there. Ian, Ian, where are you? Uh, Hello. John I am John DZ Adventuring. No, no, I'm I'm just John. That's not my real name. Nice to meet you, John. Yeah, I'm right. John. Good to see you. Yeah. He's been, he's I'm been not over repping for Honda. I'm not Mystery Adventuring. <laughs> that's John D's nuts. <laughs> yeah, that's that's my other nickname. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Hey, I want to know uh where's James Barut? Here. Okay. No, no. Like, where's Mr. Baruch? Where, where's James? Where's yeah. Waldo? There's somebody yeah. we don't talk about. Is he a real person? Yes, he is. Okay. Edward Chin should be here with his. <laughs> Aha! There you, there you are. Hey, let me get some. <laughs> let me get some of that umbrella. Dude, this thing's tiny, man. <laughs> Thank you. Good, good. Where'd you guys come in from? All right, where's Alex? Alex? Okay. Okay, Kristen, can you introduce yourself? Here we go. Okay. Hi. Hey, so I'm Kristen, uh, also known as Badass Brunette. Yeah, I live on the road full time in my Toyota Tacoma that's oh. got a drifter camper on the back of it. It's a second gen. All right. The best All right. of the gens. Sorry. Uh, 2015. <laughs> Been in the overlanding scene for six years seven years and right. it was like you know i met people like brett and stuff where i was like these guys are living on the road they make it work yeah it's yeah. cool it's cool knowing photo runner right yeah. <laughs> but AJ, you're uh, copying me. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, people like him inspired me. I'm like, oh my gosh, you can, you know, like you can live on the road, you can make it work, and then, yeah, kind of hit the point of the housing market went psycho crazy. I couldn't afford anything, and I said, you know what? I think now's the time to do it. So, packed up and left. This looks interesting. What what what's going on here? Okay, so this is tailgate and go. This is your portable modular outdoor kitchen and dry box. So all your dry storage. Underneath, inside, it takes about two totes away. Your cutting boards act as dividers, keeping your breads away from your pan bits. Some slide goes in like that. So we've got a third cutting board to pick a towel out. And then we've Very got cool. another, or another tray here. So when you're getting ready to serve your family off the bath, you've got all your flatware and things and coleslaw or whatever. Nice, okay. And your stove can sit there. I appreciate your work. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't know where to drive. I have the Honda Passport. I have a Honda Passport. Okay, cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Awesome. But you know what? So Don't email him. What you have to do is I texted um, him. Uh, no, I no, your phone no me <laughs> message him on Instagram, and then you're not going to talk to him. You're going to talk hey, to. Hey, Courtney. <laughs> what about the rich line? In the trailer. Yeah, yep. I love the trailer. Hey, I can we text you back. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So what's up? What are your questions? We have a ridge line, so we're, like, yeah. we're trying to get the three and a half. Yeah, so I would highly recommend it. Because watch, I don't know if you want to get dirty, but look under there and see like how straight those axles are. That's, that's what differential. Okay. You know, it's fun because we pull a trailer. We have a little you, got the, you got the skid plate? Not yet. You need, you need, you need, you need, you need to get that skid plate. And then went down just one, like, whoop de doo. Mm -hmm. You know, bashed mm -hmm. the. Uh, yeah. yeah. Rear drip and it was just pouring oil. So that's yeah. yeah. That Luckily we were that's like near a town, but like it was, oh yeah. no. How so? What what happened? Did you have to replace I it? I JB welded it. Okay. In yeah. I, parking I, lot yeah. Degrees. Did that work? <laughs> For now, till we get it fully welded, it's lasted <laughs> like seven thousand miles. Oh yeah. wow. Okay. Okay. That's it's cool. A brand new, like yeah. Twenty twenty ridge line. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Thousand miles. In the wow. <laughs> We're yeah. talking to a guy later today, like five o'clock, to, to get, get it welded. <laughs> okay, and then you need to contact Ian from Nolo Designs. Uh, I don't know if there's any other companies that make the rear diff still play, but he makes a, a cool yeah. system. And I have a video where I change out my rear diff fluid. Okay. Um, and it was like, I, I you know, that, that's that's it's an easy job. That is easy. It's yeah, like no. save yourself two hundred dollars. No, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. Easy job. But uh, yeah. do you have like Expo's finally over and. I'm so ready for a nap. It's only 4.38, but I, I can't stay. I can't stay awake.
This is night number five. So this has been pretty much like a van life trip. Uh, didn't really do too much exploring. Uh, so went to Overland Expo, but pretty much van life did. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy to a lot of people um, sleeping in your car, living out of your car, but this is a beautiful place. So I'm gonna go take a nap. By the time I wake up, it's gonna be dark. And then when I wake up tomorrow morning, um, I'll show you how, how great this place looks. So nor have I ever showed you my little setup here, my stove. And it's a new stove. Now I just simply grab this hose and just leave the, the tank in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we launched with five different lift kits for this thing the day we launched it, right? Because we know whatever we come up with, we're going to do something different, right? <laughs> Okay, so good morning, everyone. Is it still morning, Greg? I don't know. Um, anyway, yes, it's crack um, so you all know I've been uh, very supportive of Traxta because, you. Greg, you support the overlanding community. I think very hi highly of you Thanks, and uh, all the products that you develop. Like other people just aren't making this stuff. Are you going to tell them the big secret now? Yeah. So, so John wants me to make more stuff. <laughs> and um so well, we're gonna make more stuff and we're gonna well, put his name on it and so he can um, take the blame not not not, not exactly let's not go there yet uh you know there's still some, okay, some cut that part out we're, there's still some things to figure out we could leave that part in there um but just in like just immediately i think what we're uh, I, i'm very honored to announce uh we are gonna have some kind of partnership yeah right some kind of... You're going to come back down to Tucson, sleep in the shop again. <laughs> we'll make you the rock sliders you've been demanding. Yeah, so there's products that uh, I would love to bring to these Honda midsize vehicles, like rock sliders that are functional. So the conversations uh, usually go like this. Greg, I like the lift, but I also need this, and I need that, and I need the other thing, and when are you going to make it? And I say, <laughs> come on down to Tucson. So.